subscribe to Wiley WS for making the intro. So anyway, let's begin the video. What's up, bro? Since Aaron Dix Holmes, and today, or at the night, because I'm recording this tonight, we are going to be reacting to the shameless regular show ripoff. And basically, this is Veilski Mum, Veilski Mum 94 video about Sanji and Craig being a ripoff of regular show from 2017. Now, yeah, you know, did a cartoon review on it, said reasons why I feel like Sanjay and Craig, while it's not one of the worst Nick Loading cartoons ever, I do, I will say that I, I can see why people, some people will probably say it's like one of the worst because there's a lot of butt jokes, fart jokes, and all that. However, in 2017, people started saying it's kind of a rip off a regular show. And honestly, I don't really find it a a um, rip off of of regular show. I can see why people say it, but let's see why Vales keep on 94 saying it. So yeah. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Please subscribe with the bell on to always get notified when I upload a new video. Comments will do it. If you guys want me to react to some more Velskimo94 videos, please tell me in the comments. Or if you want me to react to some other videos by some other YouTubers, please tell me in the comments because I'll actually do it. So yeah, so that's what you guys enjoyed the video. So let's, let's get to the video. In 3, 2, 1, we are back running cheese. His old intro was... His old intro I actually really loved. Uh, I wish he never changed it, honestly, but eh, whatever. Regular show came out during the Cartoon Network Renaissance, and it was an awesome cartoon with over-the-top plots and great characters. Agree. Since this was so popular, a new show was created that tried to copy Regular Show, but it utterly failed. For a pet one day. Honestly, I don't think it really did. Like, I don't think it really tried to copy Regular Show, honestly, but I can see why people, some people kind of say it. I'm not gonna lie, I do love the intro of Sanjay and Craig, I'm not even gonna lie. And it was a poor attempt by the network to steal the glory of regular show. The series follows the exploits of the title characters, a 12 year old boy named Sanjay Patel, and his best friend, an anthropomorphic snake named Craig. I don't... Okay, so this is from 2017, so, you know, his opinions probably changed, but... I really don't think it really tried to copy regular show, honestly. I just feel like it. they just tried to use the the plot of um, a human, his talking pet type, type friend, you know, and then they just go on adventures. I feel like that's not really them copying regular show, considering they're not the first to come up with the idea. So it's like, is it really copying? So that one, that point, not really. I do agree. Regular show was great. It had great characters. Even though in the first seasons, the first like two seasons of regular show, I didn't like kind of like the characters because sometimes the guy like dicks. You know, during the seasons, during the later seasons, older, the other seasons, the newer seasons, I started liking the characters a little bit more because they started to be acted like, oh no, they started to have more depth into the characters and why they act like how they act. So, yeah. But I don't think them using the plot of this character, this human character hanging out with his pet character or whatever is really copying. The talking animal thing is done in a bunch of cartoons, so that part isn't really to blame for the ripoff of regular show. Although okay, never mind. He did mention it. He did mention it. This is a cheap knockoff. Hey, what you creepin', you creepy creeper? Can't a man admire another man's bloobies? Oh, they look so good. I just wanna pounce on them. Not gonna lie, the, the animation does look like does look like Bob's Burgers. Burgers. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. It do, it does look like Bob's Burgers. The overall tone of the episode. Yeah. You're probably aware that regular show is directed towards older audiences, as there are adult jokes and several mature themes. Yeah. Same with Adventure Time. Of different plot lines that can get out of hand, but that's the entire joke of it. Things are taken to an over the top style in every episode because that's just the tone of the show. But we go over to Sanjay and Craig, and it's you just can like that it does everything wrong. Basically, it attempts to do over the top plots and jokes in the same fashion as regular show and it fails in the very yeah, first cause... episode Sanjay and Craig try to sneak into a hospital so they can see Sanjay's mom performing a butt transplant that's literally the entire plot for the episode and I have no idea what they were thinking this is a ridiculous plot and it's over the top 
but it can't achieve yeah also why would he want to see that honestly like who wants to see a butt transplant throughout the entire series of Sanjay and Craig there's a whole lot of immature jokes and mostly gross out humor it's yeah, like and fart jokes cuz but multiply that by 10 times and then add some fart jokes and stuff yeah yeah during the 2010s for some reason a lot of cartoons started to do some gross out humor like SpongeBob okay so they kind of stopped in season 8 and 9 all right so Season 6, 7, and then kinda in season 8, depending on which episode you're talking about. But Spongebob, they started doing gross out humor. Fan, there was gross out humor in Fanboy Chum Chum. Um, Breadwinners and Sounds Like a Craig and um, Pig Goat Banana Cricket. Um, it, it, like, they just started to do gross out humor. It was like, I get they was trying to aim for kids. But do you really think gross out humor is for kids? Like, gross out humor should be towards teens, and I don't believe gross out humor should be really for kids. Like, butt, butt jokes and fart jokes, okay, that could be aimed to little boys, considering, you know, boys would probably like that. If you're saying for kids and stuff, I feel like they should probably aim for something that's actually like kids' kids, if you guys get what I mean. Of course, there were a few gross things in regular show, but that yeah, was I'm not gonna really lie. Son and sometimes regular show they did have fart jokes. And Craig, there are fart and butt jokes galore. Yeah, a lot, and like, like all that meme from um um from Rick and Morty where the guy was trying to drink his coffee, but it was filled with a butt, and then it just like kept coughing. It just kept Craig, um farting. The regular show stuff and thought, hey guys, let's do that, except to make it grosser and for the kids. Sadly, this sort of thing actually works with the audience because the majority of Nickelodeon viewers are really young kids. Because it's, it's kids. Out humor. While regular shows for the older audiences and has mature themes, Sanjay and Craig appeals to the kids who love gross out humor. Yeah, see, see, just fart, ju fart jokes and butt jokes, which I'm fine with them. Honestly, I don't think they're too Sanjay bad. But it's like pregnant with a fart. I'm just gonna let those words sink in. Yeah, guys, if you guys want me to react to that episode, please tell me, I'm because honestly, it's like... That humor is bad. It's been done a few times in regular show, and there were actually some really funny moments involving that. Yeah, and then, and the Ren and Snippy, it was also good, but it's mature. like... It's just stupid. So yeah, agree. Sanjay and Craig is a kid version of regular show. It's a knockoff cartoon that only wants to take the glory away from regular show, and most people who watch it are likely kids who enjoy random gross-out humor. I just hope Nick stops accepting these terrible shows and instead focuses on good stories. Anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe. Okay, yeah, same guys. That was the video. We guys enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think. Honestly, I feel like Nick is not really good. So far, right now. Um, Nick started to stop doing, like, gross on humor cartoons, and I believe 2016, but I'm not too sure. Right now, we don't really have gross on humor cartoons, like, Loud House, I, I know some people stopped watching Loud House, but honestly, I still like it. Then we got, um, the spinoff, the Costum Grandes with Ronnie Ann. Honestly, I don't, honestly, I also like that. Like, I just like the Loud House and the Costume Grand Days. SpongeBob, I still watch no matter what. Even if there was gross on humor sometimes, I'll just skip the gross out parts and then just watch the entire episode. I wouldn't even care. Then we got, um, um, what was, what are the other cartoon? Oh, um, Pony. Pony, I haven't been watching, I haven't been really watching it, but I saw some episodes and honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I'm not even gonna lie. I do think that has potential. I'm honestly not even gonna lie. Then I believe we also have Wally's Pack. Um, um, I believe I believe it's about a boy and he has to capture um aliens or something like that, monsters. I think it's like that or something like that. I'm not even too sure. I th I think the cartoon's called Wally Pack or something like that. I'm not even too sure. I haven't been watching TV that much. And then we also got Glitch Tech, but that's on Netflix, and I haven't been, actually haven't checked that out yet. And then we also have the one, then we also have the one with the sausages that's also on Netflix, which, believe it or not, Vilsky Bun also called that a, uh, the Amazing World of Gumball ripoff, which if you guys want me to rat to that, please tell me in the comments, because I'll rat to it. So yeah, 
So anyways, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe with the bell on those going to fire upload a new video. See you guys in the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace.